हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग फैंटेस्टिक फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्टिकी सेशंस एंड पाथ पैटर्न्स विच आर अनादर एडवांस लोड बैलेंसिंग फीचर्स एंड विथ दिस वी विल कंप्लीट अवर लोड बैलेंसिंग सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द फीचर्स इन डिटेल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज स्टिकी सेशंस ओके so as the name itself suggests sticky session basically it enables us to bind a user session to a specific ec2 instance we all know right that the function of load balancer is to distribute the traffic across the so, registered ec2 instances on that and by default uh, with classic load balancer it will distribute the traffic to the ec2 instance with the less workload okay so uh, one thing to note here that the sticky session this feature can be enabled for both that is classic load balancers as well as for the application load balancer so it say what will be the use of this or what how it will be beneficial okay say for example you have a uh, multiple ec2 instance and you want to bind a specific you know users data to a particular ec2 instance across uh, instead of distributing in that way you can enable the sticky sessions and that can be useful and uh, with uh, when say this sticky session is configured for application load balancer so the incoming traffic goes to the target group before it goes to the target ec2 instance so if you are following me and if you are to recommend you to go through the previous sessions as well as uh, application load balancer so we know that in the application load balancer there will be target groups instead of you know uh, direct target and this target group is basically a collection of this uh, instances so uh, the traffic will be going to the target group first before it will be distributed to the underlying uh, targets which are ec2 instances etc now let's and just try to understand what is sticky session and how it works with the diagram here so as you can see there are two diagrams here first is without session stickiness another is with session stickiness Let's say there are two users here, and using load balancer, the data, uh, you know, traffic is getting distributed across two EC2 instances here. Come the case, like say, uh, when user one say the user one wants the data shouldn't get distributed uh, across the instance, and if he wish to store it on one particular EC2 instance, in that case, what you will do? You will just enable the station stickiness. same like user 2 if he wants or power to you know uh, the data to be stored to one ec2 instance specifically in that case we can enable the station stickiness and if in case see you uh, you come across a situation like uh, traffic is not getting distributed across the ec2 instances uh, which are you know behind the load balancer so the first thing you can check is whether the station stickiness is enabled and if there is not a requirement as such then you can disable it okay so please note at this point now let's move ahead and understand what is path patterns again the name as it suggests so path patterns is another advanced load balancing feature which helps to route the incoming traffic based on the url paths so the here in this case the listeners can be configured with the routes that forwards the request based on the url path i'll just you give you an example here suppose uh, this is my website uh, www.cloudbitmosin.com and it got say product as well as service at two different different pages there for example so uh, if i wish like my product should go uh, to be served by a separate ec2 instance and services which should go to another set of ec2 instance in that case so basically based on the url so you can say this is one url url and uh, this one is a separate url so if we you wish that traffic should get distributed based on the path that is url paths in that case we can enable and leverage this path patterns let's try to understand this as well in detail as you can see say the user traffic is by application load balancer getting distributed across various set of ec2 instance so when we enable the path patterns for example for flash products a complete url it should it will go to a set uh, different set of ec2 instance and similarly flash services as this is a separate url it will go to the separate set of ec2 instance altogether 
Now what are the exam tips? Okay. So uh, in that last session as well as in this session we have covered different advanced load balancing features. So in the previous sessions we covered cross zone load balancing and if you uh, if you have gone through uh, the that video basically when we enable the cross load uh, cross zone load balancing it will uh, uh, balance this traffic across each registered instances in the uh, availability zone. See for example you have two or three or multiple availability zones and if we enable cross zone load balancing so whatever the ec2 instances part of those zones so the traffic will get distributed to all those zones and say in, ca in case if it is disabled in that case what will happen say we have multiple uh, zones and we disable the cross zone load balancing so in that case the traffic will be limited to that particular zone only it will not get distributed to the cross zone or the other zone and it will be limited to that availability zone only so that will happen with cross zone load balancing then we discussed in today's session about sticky sessions basically what we understood is sticky session it enables uh, the user sessions to a specific EC2 instance and where it will be useful is when we need to send a traffic for a specific EC2 instance it shouldn't if it say you want your data shouldn't get distributed and it should be saved to one EC2 instance in that case we can enable the sticky sessions uh, next session uh, next uh, feature that we have seen is about path patterns basically as uh, we are seeing path patterns uh, it um, there are the listeners rule that can be configured so basically it will take care of you know uh, distributing the traffic based on the url paths and hence it, hence it is called as path pattern as we are seeing like cloud with motion slash product this complete url will go to one specific set of ins instance or uh, you know fleet of instances and uh, cloud with motion slash services will be served to uh, serve the another set of EC2 instance. So basically it will follow the URL paths and based on that it will distribute the traffic. So friends so that's it for today. This was a very quick uh, theoretical lecture. I hope you got the point and with this we are done with advanced load balancing and next time uh, we will see some uh, very interesting session on very interesting cloud AWS cloud service and I hope you will enjoy that as well. So please don't uh, so, uh, forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's Cloud with Mohsin. Uh, stay tuned and happy learning and I would appreciate as you know the videos like this take some effort so if you support it would be really appreciated. So take care, bye bye.